It was supposed to be fun. Tens of thousands of scouts coming together from 158 countries. That was until a heat wave hit the Buan region of South Korea. Now hundreds of teenagers are experiencing heat-related sicknesses and the government has been forced to step in. From now on, the government of the Republic of Korea, the central government, will take the lead and be in charge of safety management and smooth operation of the event until all the participants leave. The World Scout Jamboree is described as the world's largest youth camp, bringing together scouts from all over the world every four years. Countries take turns hosting the event. But the Jamboree in South Korea has faced criticisms, with reports of substandard bathrooms and sanitation on the campsite. Military doctors have been deployed to the event, with temperatures hitting 35 degrees Celsius. That's proved too much for some, with thousands of American and British scouts pulling out of the Jamboree altogether. The problems with this go way beyond the heat. Um, there's not enough food, there's not enough water. A 100% nightmare. I mean, I think he's making the best and he's been positive about the, the people he's met, but the living conditions and the, the disorganization has just crushed him. And he's crushed about having to spend the next week on an army base. The World Organization of the Scout Movement has called on South Korea to shorten the event, but organizers have committed to salvaging the jamboree and the government has spent millions of dollars to improve conditions. The organizing committee will continue to work with government ministries, the World Scout Committee and the Korean Scout Committee to protect the participants from the heat wave as much as possible and make it a safe event. Local media are reporting the situation as a national disgrace. But for many of these teenagers, it was supposed to be the trip of a lifetime. Alex Beard, Al Jazeera.